Hello, everybody. Today, I'm talking about Saturn's transit into Capricorn. This is a major transit. Saturn comes into a new sign every two and a half years or so. So it is always an important aspect as Saturn is the karma that we have to deal with. Usually Saturn's transit is not the easiest to deal with. And if you have a moon in Capricorn or planets in Capricorn or ascendant even, then uh, it can create uh, challenges. But at the same time, uh, Saturn is going to be in dignity in its own sign. So he's bringing strength as well. So uh, think of it as uh, how you're going to handle it. So I'm going to uh, explain. And also this is a two-part uh, video. First part, I'm just going to talk about Saturn in Capricorn. And part two will be how it affects you. Hello, I'm Camilla Sutton and we are talking Saturn. And Saturn, you should you know, everybody gets afraid of Saturn, but it is nothing to be afraid of. We must understand its qualities and work with it because if we don't understand its qualities, then we are just struggling. So the main thing, the job that was given to uh, Saturn or Shani Maharaj was that he had to make us account for our karma during our lifetime. So how does he make us account for karma? Through our own chart, through dashas, but most important through the transits. And everybody, whether you're rich or poor, uh, you will experience the Saturn transit and you will go through uh, challenges and the challenge is only as hard as you make it and how you react to it. I've made many videos on Saturn, so I'll put a link to the master classes I did on Saturn. You can listen to that and uh, understand that uh, as well. So let's just first look at some technical or, uh, you know, basic aspects of Saturn. Saturn moves into Capricorn on 23rd or 24th of uh, January, depending on which part of the world you are in. Uh, I'm in California, it's moving here on 23rd night, but 24th is mostly the rest of the world is on 24th. Now Saturn will uh, slowly, slowly, Saturn means Shani, slow, slow, he slowly goes through Capricorn. So Saturn goes into Aquarius on 29th of April 2022, then retrogrades back from Aquarius to Capricorn. And finally, Saturn finishes his transit in um, Capricorn in January. Now, uh, Saturn is in a fine dignity uh, for the next five years. So this is a very important aspect. When Saturn goes into Capricorn, then in Aquarius, it is in its strength. So he promotes uh, uh, democratic rule. He promotes, uh, uh, you know, facing up to your karma, working hard, taking responsibility. All the children born at this time will have very powerful uh, Saturns in their chart, regardless of what house or placement it is. Uh, so uh, what you have to be uh, conscious about is that Saturn is going to uh, transit uh, over your planet. So if you have moon in uh, Capricorn, then you are in intense Saresati. But what Exactly the intensity is depends on uh, where your moon is. So in 2020, uh, Saturn is only going to go up to about six degrees of Capricorn. Then in 2021, it will go further from six to about uh, 20. And then 2022, he will go further. So therefore, you have to watch the, the need to know the astrology of it to know when the intensity is. But overall, if you have moon in Capricorn, you are experiencing Saresati. Then uh, other planets actually don't have such a big 
a kind of all the time effect. Other planets say if you have Venus in Capricorn or the Sun in Capricorn, then it is more precise when Saturn is exactly coming onto your uh, Venus or Sun, then that is the time the energy will be strong and you will experience something, uh, obstacle, difficulty, delay, uh, usual keywords of Saturn that you can uh, hope to experience during that time. And if you are aware, then you can minimize the effect. Uh, what is important to understand that you cannot uh, take away the impact of Saturn, but you can minimize the impact by uh, pu putting your head down, doing all the, your projects, uh, stitch in time saves nine, the proverb, this is perfectly for Saturn. Sort out your things as you go along, take personal responsibility. Uh, because Saturn has Thambana Shakti, he can suddenly block situations. And the awareness of what it blocks this comes with experience and with time, but he can generally delay, uh, create obstacles, uh, too much pressure of work. Saturn never gives uh, less work. He can give over pressurized of work. So if you are feeling under pressure with work, then think, okay, this is a good karma I'm doing. Uh, so I'm uh, doing a part of the remedy that Saturn likes. So. Uh, that would be the best thing to do. Saturn will go through the three nakshatras. He will be in uh, Uttra Ashara to start with, then uh, Shravana, and finally Dhanishta. So each time when uh, Saturn goes into the nakshatras, I'll make separate videos for them. I have already done a video on Uttra Ashara. You can watch that. Uh, but the others will follow. Uh, but this is an overall global view of what is happening. And uh, it means that we are going to experience a, a major change and a solid change. Now, the big conjunction uh, that is taking place in this Capricorn is the Jupiter Capricorn conjunction. And I made a separate video for that as well. But the main uh, conjunction will be on 21st of December 2020. Otherwise, Jupiter will remain with Saturn 2021 uh, and it will be uh, there, but the exact conjunction is only on 21st of December. Jupiter Saturn conjunction last time was in 1960, and these are uh, called grand conjunctions, happen once every 20 years. So there is a whole lot of change taking place in the world. Uh, not so much on a personal level, but obviously if something's happening in the world, our thinking, our ideas are changing. So you know, we see that this uh, particular uh, Jupiter-Saturn togetherness in 2020 will bring huge changes and how we uh, experience the 20s. This is the start of that change. And uh, it is... Um, uh, positive, I feel, because uh, Saturn is always bringing positive changes if we are not struggling with it. What happens is most of us try to resist it and we think, oh, no, we should. It's not going to affect us so we shouldn't bother about it. And the resistance is what causes the problem. So that is an important thing to watch out for. So uh, just to give you the dates properly again, um, that uh, 23rd, 24th January, Saturn goes into uh, Capricorn 2020 till 29th April 2022. And then uh, it will go into Aquarius and retrograde back from Aquarius and uh, 12th of July 2022 to 17th of January 2023. So 17th of January 2023, Saturn goes out of Capricorn into um, Aquarius for the uh, final time. And we will uh, lose uh, the intensity of Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn retrograde. So during this time, Saturn will retrograde three times. I'm just going to read the dates just so that I'm not making a mistake. 
So the first retrograde of Saturn is in 2020, 10th of May to 29th September. Uh, this is uh, going to be uh, all in Capricorn. It doesn't change signs. And um, then 23rd of May to 10th of October 2021. And in 2022, uh, Saturn actually starts the retrograde in uh, on 4th of June in Aquarius. And then on uh, 12th of July, 2022, Saturn retrogrades back to Capricorn up to 22nd of October. So these are just dates for you to put in your diary. I will be making separate videos as we go along. Welcome Saturn and we enjoy the transit of Saturn and honor the energy. Now, those of you who want to do any remedy for Saturn, the best remedy for Saturn is karma yoga, selfless service. Uh, you can do uh, selfless service to elderly, to the poor. Uh, don't expect any reward from it and uh, give back to society. Think about that. Uh, then uh, feeding the poor. Uh, it is called Anadan or Bhandara up in north. Uh, so you should think about uh, giving food uh, to the poor, to the needy. Now, you can give medicine, uh, anything, clothes, medicine. It's very cold in certain parts, so you're giving warm clothes to people who don't have. Uh, so you should keep an eye out on uh, what the uh, environment or what uh, the world is asking for you. What I find is that I keep an eye out. If somebody asks me something, I'm always ready and willing to give in um, charity or give something of myself as well. And, uh, you know, you can't do everything. You have to recognize your own boundaries as well. Start of Saturn's transit in Capricorn, you think about what can I give back? What can I do? And make a, a you know decision and what you're planning to do. There is no point waiting for Saturn's transit to be exact or difficult before you start doing the remedies. The best remedies that you do as you go along. Every year on your birthday, you decide what you're going to do and to uh, continue with the Vedic remedies. They are very useful and Saturn rewards you if you're doing the remedies. Part of this uh, Saturn transit in Capricorn is very positive because Saturn is in Vargotama. And then he will retrograde back in Vargotama and go forward in Vargotama. Saturn is in Vargotama uh, 24th January to uh, 23rd February and 8th May to 11th November 2020. So you see, it has got a long Vargotama. So I had made a video on Vargotama, but those of you don't know what Vargotama is, it when a planet is in its own sign and Navamsha. Uh, same position, same sign in Rashi, same sign in Navamsha. But here we are getting Saturn in a, a very dignified way. It is mm, uh, in its own sign and then it is Vargotama as well. So that is why it is the start of Saturn in Capricorn that we should make some decisions. Uh, we should take a Sankalpa. Sankalpa, I don't know the... In, English of it, but, uh, you know, make a decision that you're going to uh, not be afraid of Saturn, but you're going to do some positive things and work hard and take responsibility for your life. Uh, so all the best. And I look forward to seeing you. The second part of this uh, video is going to be how Saturn affects you. I shall talk about that in a minute.